Welcome to CC Creations. Hey guys, it's CC here, and today on CC Creations, we will be making pencil cutouts for cards, or for your room, or for decor, for whatever you want, for whatever, whatever, whatever you want. So, the materials you will need, a glue stick, I'm using Elmer's, scissors, paint chips in the form of houses if you can, if not you can cut it to the way you want. I'm going to be using them in like sort of house arrow sort of shapes, black, light brown, gray, pink, and yellow. So here are your following you guys. So I'm going to start by taking my yellow my yellow here and I'm just going to cut off the little part that has a house. If yours doesn't have a house you don't have to worry about this step. Like that. Then you're going to take your pink, I mean your gray, and you're going to cut off your house part as well. So just cut off your house part of all your... Okay, so you're now going to take your yellow and you're going to take your um, gray and you're going to mark how much. So I want this much. I'm going to make a little bit of a marking on the back. Or I could just cut it how I want because I want to make that like that much but I want to leave a little bit extra so I can glue it on the back. So there we go. This you can save for another project. Next I will be putting these two, just marking that. Then I will be taking my pink and looking. I want a large amount of pink for my eraser. I want like that much. So I'm going to have to just, I'm just going to cut off a little bit like that and that's going to be what I'm using. For this part here, I'm just going to want to cut it to the line that makes the point of the little triangle part and keep the triangle. And for this point, you're just going to want to go straight down the center and cut a little thick little pencil point. Or for extra detail, if you want. I'm just going to see how I want mine. So I want mine like that. I'm not sure how I want mine actually. I'm just going to leave that like that. Now the part is to glue it all together. So our scissors are useless now. Well, you can use them for other things, but for this project, you don't need them anymore. So now you're going to start by taking this. You're going to flip it on its back and you're going to apply glue to the back. Like that. It did not flip up on me, did it? Yeah, it did. So you're going to just turn it over and see how you want it. And just stick it like that. You don't want too much because this is just a little metal part that holds the pencil together. Then you're going to apply glue on the whole back. I mean, on just a little, a bigger part of the back. That's what I meant, sorry. Then you're going to look at your pencil. And you're going to see, I want my eraser this size, or I want it this size. But in this case, I want mine this size, like that. And I'm going to apply glue to my triangle, like right, this little triangle here. Then I'm going to glue it to the end part. I don't want any yellow showing where the triangle is. So if I have to go a little over, that's okay. So like that, then I will be applying glue to my little black point, like that, and putting it on like that, and there I have my pencil. So next I will be taking this and I will be, you can make little black strips or whatever you want. I'm not going to be gluing these on mine, but I'm just going to show you how you can do it. Just cut really thin strips, and this is optional. And you can glue them on your pencil for extra detail. And you can put as many as you want. Or you can throw, you can put one in the middle like that. Of your little racers, whatever you want. But I want to make mine simple. Like that. There's my pencil. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please like and subscribe.